Hello folks, welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator. We're flying over a PC breaker area that is New York, but with the wide field of view setting in the Pimax 5K Super. Now, this is an interesting test I thought I would try because I know many of you out there love that wide field of view that only Pimax seem to be able to deliver. And I agree with you, you know, like the 8KX is incredible, but the trouble is the 8KX is also really hard to run particularly in a sim this sort of, you know, GPU intensive and CPU intensive. So what I thought I'd try is the OpenXR toolkit with the 5K Super. Now bear in mind the 5K Super, the resolution is a lot lower than you would expect from say a Reverb or even a Quest. However, it's not terrible. I mean, imagine a Rift S and if you super sample it a little bit, which I have actually, I can still read everything pretty well. No, it's not perfect by any means. It's nowhere near what you'd expect from a high resolution headset. Don't get me wrong. However, what this does give you is the wide field of view that we all crave with a really decent frame rate. Now with the OpenXR toolkit, it means I'm getting, I think around 50 frames per second. I'm having to really look in the corner there, but yeah, 54 frames per second whilst recording. It's a little bit annoying because without OBS running, I'm getting 60 frames per second in Microsoft Flight Simulator with really high settings. In fact, I'll pop on the screen now what my settings are. So that's really got me thinking, folks. You know, you can absolutely enjoy Microsoft Flight Simulator with graphics like this. Oh my goodness me. I'm using the uh, Steam VR mirror, by the way, so it might not look amazing, but hopefully the frame rate, which you can see, will give you an indication that it's actually pretty decent in terms of smoothness. You know, you can absolutely enjoy this sim with a wide field of view with decent visuals. I can still see everything pretty damn well. And yeah, have a great experience. Look at that rain shower over there. Now here are my OpenXR toolkit settings. Hopefully it will show on the mirror image. In fact, it looks a bit weird because I can only see it in one eye. No idea what that's going to look like on the Steam VR mirror. But I'm using the NIS scaler, 90% um, with 40% sharpening. My inner ring size is 80%, middle resolution is a quarter, with outer ring size at 80%. And I've also got the Steam, not Steam VR, sorry, the Pimax wide field of view hack on. That also means I don't need to have parallel reprojections enabled. I can still see a bit of culling in the left hand side, but I think that's going to be sorted uh, before too long and we'll have a much better experience with this headset. So yeah, let me know in the comments below, is this something you might be interested in? You know, a wide field of view headset with a low resolution but really good frame rate. I mean, we're getting like, we are hitting 50 frames per second easily and that is with recording. That's unheard of right now, even with smaller field of view headsets. Um, you know, at the moment I'm really enjoying about 150 degrees field of view, which is pretty incredible, but still really smooth performance. So there we are folks, proof that you can fly over New York with Microsoft Flight Simulator with very high settings using the OpenXR toolkit with a wide field of view headset. I think the only trade-off you do have to make is that the resolution isn't anywhere near as sharp, of course, as say the Reverb G2. But it still looks pretty damn good actually, even when you super sample it. Now I do still have a discount code for anyone looking for a Pimax and of course that might also help if you're thinking of trading in for a QLED series of headsets, which I will be showing on the channel very soon actually. But look at this, 56, 57 frames per second, that is whilst recording. Pretty cool, please let me know in the comments what you think and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye for now.